everyone, I'm Mrs B and I'm here today to show you how to turn wool into pom-poms. Not only will I show you how to make pom-poms, but I'll also show you how to turn it into a beautiful artwork just like this one. We'll do some painting and we'll also do some tactile, kind of tricky, but awesome artwork making tassels and pom-poms together. Stay tuned, I'll show you how now. Welcome to our pom-pom workshop. We're going to create pom-poms together and then turn it into an artwork. So the first thing you're going to need is some different colored wool. Doesn't really matter the thickness, um, just have a go at creating lots of beautiful colours. I get my wool from Zart Art, which is a fantastic art supply company, and I've popped a link down below in the description if you'd like to follow to grab some of Zart Art's stuff. You'll also need some cardboard, you'll need some scissors, you'll need a cup to trace around, and I've written watercolours here because I'm going to teach you an artwork to use your pom poms, and it involves watercolours. Let's do it. So before using any wool, what you do need to do is trace around a cup. What we're working on now is our pom-pom maker or my, our pom-pom template. Once you've made a pom-pom template, you can use this same template to create pom-poms over and over again, but we need to make the template first. So I've just traced around sort of a medium sized container here. If you get a larger container, you're gonna end up with a larger pom-pom. After you've cut the circle, you actually need an inner circle as well. So I've just got this magnet here, um, a 20 cent coin might also work. Like that. So I'm gonna cut around my first circle here. Now, when I said cardboard in the materials, this is more like um, card. So you can see it can still bend, so it's easy to cut, but it's not a piece of paper. It needs to be a bit thicker than that. All right, so now I'm gonna make a bit of a wedge in my pom-pom and cut my inside circle. Kind of like a C shape. I need two of those. Cool. We don't need the cardboard anymore. Got our CC shapes, just like that. So I've got lots of different colors here and I'm gonna make a really colorful pom-pom today. So I might start with whatever color, I've got my blue. And the aim now is to wrap the wool all the way around our C shape. Now, I want it to be quite a thick and full pom-pom. So I'm going to continuously wrap all the way around over and over and over. That's why you need a gap here, obviously, so that you can put the wool in. And you can see it a bit easier now, but this distance is going to determine how big our pom-pom is. So I'm gonna end up with a pom-pom about that size. But I'll be able to show you that a little bit clearer later. So I'm holding on to this part of the wool as to not make it unravel. All right, I've done some blue there. I'm just gonna tie that in place to keep it from unraveling. Great, and now we're gonna move on to another color. All right, so I'm repeating this. In the same way I did with my blue, I'm doing it with my, my beige kind of wool here. 
I'm going to create quite a color blocking pom pom. So there'll be sections of different colors. So the more times you wrap the wool over, the thicker and fuller your pom pom will be. I'm going to use one lucky last colour. Get rid of this part. Wonderful. So this is our pom-pom ready to be cut. So the reason we have two templates here is because I'm going to get my scissors in between these this piece of cardboard and cut, cut, cut all the way around. Now, before I do that, I wanna get a piece of nice long wool ready for the step afterwards. Okay, here I go. Now that I've cut halfway, I'm just going to place this extra piece of wool in the middle here because I don't want to let go. I've got lots of loose little pieces of wool here and if I let go, that's just going to fall over the table. So this piece of string here is going to keep it all intact uh, and we're going to tie it together. All right, so that's going to stay there and I'm going to continue to cut all the way around. Okay, this string's really important now. I'm going to place it in the middle again. quite tightly I'm going to do a double knot now This is another color blocking example. As you can see, I've got sections of different colors. And so when I create the pom-pom, they're gonna come out in those blocks as well. Now remember, get your helpful tie together string all ready. And I'm going to insert my scissors in between the two cardboard pieces and begin to cut along. So this purple string goes through the middle there. Can you see that? And I'm going to pull that quite tight. There's lots of little pieces of wool now. Making pom poms, Lila. Pom poms, please. Pom poms, please. You can make pom poms. So, this example is a little bit more speckledy and random. You can see I'm making each colour sort of spread out loosely around our C template. not color blocking anymore.
you have any bits that are a bit longer than the others, just trim them to sort of make it a nice sphere like that. And make sure when you're doing the tying of this um, extra rope here, it needs to be super tight. It's essentially keeping all of the wool together rather than just falling apart. So now that I've made a few different pom-poms, I'm going to have a go at turning it into an artwork. The next thing I'm doing now is simply painting a rainbow with watercolours. I'm picking up some of the colours that I've used in the pom-poms so it can go with my rainbow. And I'm painting quite a watery rainbow using some red. Now I'm going to blend in some of the pink that you can see. It's not your traditional red, orange, yellow kind of rainbow. Now I'm going to do the blue. I'm going to let that dry and put it all together in a moment. The next thing we need to do for our cool pom-pom task is kind of attach them together. Now, the way I'm just going to do that is by tying a knot so tight so that this pom-pom connects to this pom-pom. But then the piece of wool is sort of hidden. That's what, how tight I'm pulling it and just doing a double knot. And in doing that, kind of creating a bit of a tiered pom-pom look. I need to trim off any extra wool that I no longer need. Now, the last detail we're going to do is create a bit of a tassel. And the way you do that is we're just gonna wrap heaps of wool around my hand here. Cut it off. Okay, now I'm gonna to try to fit some wool through my finger here. Bring it through the other side. And I'm going to tie a knot. It's a bit tricky to do when one hand is all wrapped up, but just do your very best. You can probably take it out. There we go. And a nice tight knot. And chop. And we're going to attach the tassel down here. Lots of knots today. Knots and cutting. <laughs> so that will dangle really well like that. We'll do the other one. Now as the absolute final touch, flip over your awesome watercolour rainbow, make sure it's nice and dry, and stick your beautiful pom-pom and tassel combination really securely on the back. You can have them at different heights or the same.
And I also suggest doing a loop at the top so you can hang it. So it's as simple as that. I hope you are able to work through some of the tricky steps to create your very own pom-poms and then turn it into an artwork just like this. Please make sure that you subscribe below, like and comment our page and also follow at Art Life Art Lessons on Facebook and show me any artworks you've been doing. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.